Education Minister Rakam A. Sangma on Friday requested the Government of India to recognize both Khasi and Garo languages in the eighth schedule of the Indian Constitution. Sangma said that recognition of these languages would not only fulfill the aspirations of the people of Meghalaya but also contribute to cultural and linguistic preservation. It may be mentioned that Chief Minister Konrad Sangma also informed via Twitter that after Garo language was excluded from the 38 languages to be reviewed for inclusion of the eighth schedule notified by the Ministry of Home Affairs, a member delegation on Friday led by Tura MP and former Union Minister of State Agathake Sangma and Thomas A. Sangma Speaker Meghalaya Legislative Assembly led the delegation to request the same from the Ministry of Home Affairs. Based on the request, the Ministry of Home Affairs has now agreed to include Garo language in the list of languages demanding each schedule inclusion. This is uh, for both Garo and the Kasi, which uh, the regulation is already adopted in the state state assembly and two years back. And it's our aspiration, aspiration is our demand from the state that to that our Kasi and the Garo language be recognized, be what you call uh, by the in the eight each schedule of the Constitution of India. Having said so, if I am not wrong, if I am not wrong, the both the Kasi and the Garo was in the uh, pending list of its recognition in the last uh, five to three years. If I am wrong, it, it was in um, in 2017 or 18. The Garo also was in the pending list. Uh, if I am not wrong, it was in number 16. 16. Garo was in the 16th and Kasi was on 18th. But now in the latest in the latest and uh, development, Garo pending list has been has been what do you call omitted or is is not there anymore. Maybe maybe some reason maybe some reason. I think maybe why this happened, or why why the pending list has not been uh, meant, not continued. Maybe so this is uh, the matter of concern. I think. Yes, it is our our delegation because it was earlier uh, our prince the, for the for the Kasi for the I mean I mean for the Kasil side the demands that our delegation has been went went and met the officials in the Delhi and did some demonstration too and also in a similar way that from Karil side has also went today to resubmit our demand for its recognition but i think not only garo kasi i think i think it's from the government side it's a government the language is the no scientist no philosopher can design can this can invent it it's a discovery of the god's creation the god's blessing i think it's uh, as a human being as a government as a individual i think we should uh, recognize the um, recognition as a universal language is very very important i think it's my desire it's my request to the government of india also right this uh, the this this is very very important today like but this kasi and the garo should be should be recognized in the schedule of the constitution in the process, in the process, it will really, really bring off our, uh, our, our society, our students, in performing in many, many exams, competitive exams, in, in many, in the days to come. It will certainly bring up the standard. Maybe this is the reason why our troubles North East India is not going at par with the rest of the country. I think the government of India today must recognize, must realize that every tribes, every language, every dialect is important. I think I'm sure in the last five years, the government of India under the Honorable Prime Minister Dr. Um, Sir P. Modi, the many developments has been uh, established, road, the highways has been constructed. I believe like this, this issue, I think the government of India looks as uh, if can be considered at the priority level it 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 would be the, the the greatest blessing to the state and to our reason